Likewise, I want women to adorn themselves. Now, he wants women to adorn themselves. Okay? So adornment's not bad. But that adornment, we're going to see, is in verse 11. In verse 10, it's good works, godliness, a quiet and submissive spirit. Now, but let's go on. He says, I want women to adorn themselves with proper clothing. That tells me that there is clothing that's improper for a Christian woman. Alright? I mean, that's just logic. There is clothing that is improper for a Christian woman. Now, he says, the clothing must be modest. Modest. This is a very important. It's literally proper clothing with modesty is the way it, it goes in the original text. So, with modesty. My wife has a really good thing that she says, and she goes, if your clothing is a frame for your face from which the glory of God is to shine, it's, it's proper. If it draws attention to your face. If your clothing draws attention to your body, to outline it, to make it noticed, then it's sensual. It's sensual. What you're doing is wrong. Now, I want to step off for just a second. Women, you need to understand something. Men are not as dumb as you think they are. My, my wife and I have a friend in Illinois, and uh, she's a very pretty lady. Very pretty. And um, if she walked in that door right now, every man in this room, if he turned and saw her, this is what they would say. Well, that's a very pretty lady. That's a very elo eloquent lady. Elegant lady. That's a beautiful lady. And that's, that's what they would think. But ladies, there are also women that aren't half as attractive as that lady I just described to you, either in their face or in their body, and they could walk in that door, and the moment every man heard the door open and he looked over there, if he was a godly man, he would have to go like this. Because it's not beauty. It's sensuality. And even though you can't exactly write down the rules and put it all on paper, when you see it, you know it. There is a difference between beauty and sensuality. And God is not against beauty. He is against sensuality. In Philippians, we are told to think on things that are excellent, that are noble, that are just, that are right, that are true. The way a woman carries herself and the way she dresses ought to promote the following types of words. Modesty, discretion, wisdom, beauty, elegance, refinement, but not sensuality, luxury, extravagance, you know, extravagance, ladies, is when your husband wants, to, wants you to take off your earrings so he can make them into lures to catch northern pike. <laughs> now, ladies, this is, you know, I've been giving your husbands a lot of tasks. Let me give you one. Seek to find out what this means and go wherever the Lord shows you. There is nothing more attractive than a woman who has this look of wisdom and discretion and nobility and simplicity. Simplicity. It's just a simple beauty about her. <laughs> 